It's without a doubt that the Nollywood industry has been on a steady loss of veteran actors from series of unhealthy issues. While some argue about the cause of Mr. Ibu death, others think that his family used him to make of millions from Nigerians. On the other hand, people think that his death was as a result of the women in his life, while some say is because of his unhealthy living and eating nature. So, on this video is all you need to know about Mr. Ibu death controversies before and after his demise, and why Nigerians are trying to point blaming hands over his death. To ride on, please do like and subscribe. John Okafor, aka Mr. Ibu, is remembered as one of Nigeria's most effortlessly funny and beloved comic actors of all time. From his beginnings as a boxer, football coach, hairstylist, photographer, and karate practitioner, to making a name as a slapstick comedian whose acting is often characterized by stupidity, it was clear from the get-go that Mr. IBU was unlike any of his contemporaries. But that long legacy of creativity ended Saturday evening when Mr. IBU, 62, died after suffering a cardiac arrest. A statement from the Actors Guild of Nigeria Emeka Rollis confirmed. When the news of his death filtered in on Saturday evening, many waved it aside because it was just impossible for someone who brought joy to many homes to die. He was that loved. In the months that preceded his death, Mr. Ibu faced daunting challenges, health-wise and personally. His film career stalled, and on the home front, it wasn't any better. Mr. Ibu, whose real name is John Okafor, is a prominent Nigerian actor and comedian known for his unique and exceptional contributions to the Nigerian film industry, often referred to as Nollywood. His distinctive style of comedy and unforgettable characters have endeared him to audiences not only in Nigeria, but also in many parts of Africa and the African diaspora worldwide. John Okafor was born on October 17, 1961, in Enugu, Nigeria. He hails from the Igbo ethnic group, and he grew up in a family that appreciated humor. This early exposure to humor and laughter would later influence his career as a comedian and actor. Mr. Ibu's journey to fame was not without its share of challenges. He worked in various odd jobs before finding his true calling in the world of entertainment. Mr. Ibu made his debut in Nollywood in the late 90s, and it wasn't long before he gained recognition for his comedic skills. He quickly became known for his iconic facial expressions, unique body language, and exaggerated gesticulations. These trademark features, coupled with his witty and humorous dialogues, set him apart from other actors in the industry. Talking on the cause of his death and the controversies. The cause of death of Mr. IBU is cardiac arrest. Several well-informed sources report that the late actor suffered a relapse about a week ago and was rushed to a medical facility in Lagos. Unfortunately, the doctors could not save him, despite numerous efforts. When the news of his death filtered in on Saturday evening, many waved it aside because it was just impossible for someone who brought joy to many homes to die. Talking on Health Crisis The actor went public with his health challenge in 2022, when he told Premium Times that his village people attempted to kill him twice through poison. Contrary to reports that the much-loved comic actor was poisoned at an entertainment event in Abuja, Mr. Ibu said he was poisoned during his numerous trips to his country home in Nkanu West, Enugu State. He said the effects weighed him down when he returned to his base in Abuja. Two years earlier, Mr. Ibu raised the alarm about how his relatives paid his domestic staff to poison him because of his successful career. In an interview with Nigazitv, Mr. Ibu recounted how he was kidnapped and poisoned at an event in Niue. He also noted that his protruding stomach was a result of the poison. However, in October 2023, Mr. Ibu's health became a primary concern for fans and the entire nation when he shared a video from his hospital room, marking his 62nd birthday. Clad in a hospital gown and visibly distressed with a swollen left leg, the actor celebrated with his family, who sang a birthday song. Just a day after his birthday celebration, on the 18th of October 2023, another video surfaced in which Mr. Ibu, alongside his family, appealed for financial assistance to address mounting medical bills. The actor revealed he had been unwell for weeks, and doctors were contemplating the amputation of his leg to preserve his life. Distressed by the thought, he pleaded, If they cut off my leg, where will I go to? I don't want my leg to be cut off. The family sought financial aid for him to seek better treatment abroad, 
considering his prolonged health struggles. Several people donated for the ailing actor, including the Abubakar Bukola Saraki, ABS Foundation, which paid all of Mr. Ibu's medical expenses. In late October, Mr. Ibu's family shared some cheering news, announcing that the actor had undergone five successful surgeries thanks to substantial public support. They expressed optimism about his stability, anticipating the possibility of flying abroad for further treatment. On the 6th of November 2023, the family delivered the devastating news that doctors had amputated one of Mr. Ibu's legs after two additional surgeries, a decision made in a desperate attempt to save his life. Fans who had hoped for a different outcome received the news with profound sadness. However, the family issued a final official update, dispelling rumors and clarifying that Mr. Ibu's health challenges were primarily due to constant clotting of the blood in his leg, diseased blood vessels, and other unspecified issues, not diabetes. Despite initial plans, Mr. Ibu was not flown out of the country as doctors deemed him unfit to travel. There were no updates for over two months, except for a video shared by his colleague, Ken Eriks, who paid him a visit in January and confirmed that the actor was in good condition. In the video, Mr. Ibu sat in the living room wearing a burnt orange jalabiya, a flowing robe-like Islamic attire, and chatting with his junior colleague, Curtain Call. As his health deteriorated, so did the relationship between his wife and adopted daughter, Jasmine, and it had to do with the treatment funds the public contributed. Jasmine accused the actor's wife of intending to lavish the money on acquiring an iPhone 15 and undergoing body enhancement surgery. The crisis took a different dimension when the police arrested his son, Daniel Okafor and Jasmine, on suspicion of hacking into his phone and taking $60,700 for themselves. Sadly, the much-loved actor died. Mr. Ibu's death drew expressions of shock and sympathy from across the country as his colleagues paid glowing tributes to one of their own. Even the Minister of Arts, Culture and Creative Economy, Hanatu Musawa, commiserated with the movie industry, family and friends of the late Nollywood comic actor, describing the loss as one death too many. With a career that included some of the most iconic films of the 2000s and beyond, Mr. Ibu's legacy and achievement would no doubt outlive him and inspire generations of comic actors. His contributions to Nigerian entertainment and his impact on comedy are undeniable, and he remains a cherished figure in the hearts of many. Without much to say again, what's your take on his cause of death over the women in his life? Drop a comment, please do like, and subscribe.